everyone. I'm Teacher Scott and welcome to Global Day. Today we will be talking about my country, Canada. Oh, Canada. Is that a friend? Yes, Lubo, this is our flag. It's red and white and it has a maple leaf in the middle. The maple leaf is actually a symbol of Canada. Oh, 枫叶是加拿大的象征. Okay, Lubo, are you ready to learn about Canada? Yes, I am. Okay, so we're going to have a look at where Canada is in relation to Taiwan. So here we have Taiwan, and if I zoom out and we fly all the way across the Pacific Ocean, we will come to Canada. Canada is all of this area here and it's north of the United States where teacher Julie is from. So Lubo, what do you know about Canada? Well, I know that it does not have states like America. That's right, Lubo. Canada is made up of 10 provinces and 3 territories. I am from Alberta. It's one of the western provinces. Canada is also home to 35 million people. In fact, Canada is so large that you could fit 276 Taiwans inside Canada. Whoa! It's very big! Do you have big cities? Sure, Lubo. Our capital city is Ottawa, but our largest city is Toronto. What are other cities? Some other cities in Canada are Montreal, Vancouver, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Victoria, and Halifax. Mm. Do you have a favorite city in Canada? I sure do, Lubo. My favorite city is Quebec City. Is that where you are from? No, Lubo. I am not from Quebec City. I am actually from Calgary, which is a big city in the province of Alberta. No, I have never heard of it. What is it famous for? Well, I think Calgary is an interesting city. We are located close to the Rocky Mountains, so a lot of people go skiing in the wintertime. We also have a unique festival in the summertime called the Calgary Stampede. It's a rodeo. Oh, wait a moment. I need to explain here. Okay. All right, moving on. Let's talk about the weather. Oh, 要讲天气啊! Oh, what's the weather about? Well, Lubo, we have four seasons in Canada, but many Canadians will tell you that we actually only have two. Winter and almost winter. Mm-hmm. That means Canada is very cold, right? Yes, Lubo. Canada can be very cold. Maybe that explains why we eat so many donuts. Donuts? I love donuts. Because donuts keep you warm? Well, I don't know, Lubo, but we do have a lot of donut stores in Canada. Ooh, that's interesting. Speaking of interesting, we actually spell donuts a little bit different than our American cousins. They spell donuts D-O-N-U-T-S, but we actually add a few more letters. Okay, now I know it. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of words are spelled differently than they are in the United States. In other 
English-speaking countries like England and Australia, words that you know, color, favorite, and meter, are spelled a little differently. Ooh, Ooh. No, I know it. It's very interesting. Yes. We actually have many unique Canadian words. Toque is one example. It's a type of winter hat that we wear on our heads. Hmm? Toque? This word I haven't heard. But they look like the hat I'm wearing. That's right, Lubo. You are wearing a toque. I think it's a French word, but I'm not sure. Did you know that Canada is a bilingual country? Hmm? Canada is a bilingual country. That's right. French is actually an official language, as well as English. Oh, Canada also has an official language. Can you speak French? Ah,、uh, not very well, Lubo. I'm sorry. Let's move on, shall we? Okay. Canada is a multicultural country, so there are people from all over the world in Canada. Like Taiwan. We are home to many Aboriginal peoples, like the First Nations, the Inuit, and the Métis. Here are some of their unique foods.、Mm, have you ever tried them? Do they taste good? I have only tried a few,、uh, but like many Canadians,、um, I haven't tried many Aboriginal foods. More common foods in Canada might include poutine, smoked meat. Ginger beef or salmon. We are also very famous for maple syrup. Nanaimo bars are a unique Canadian dessert. Oh, please! Don't mention the food. I'm getting hungry. Okay, shall we move on, Lubo? I think so. So Canada is made up of many different regions. In the west, there are many mountains. We also have grasslands, badlands, many lakes and rivers, waterfalls, and beautiful coasts. Ooh, are the regions Canada that are unique? I think so, Lubo. I think the Canadian Shield is a very unique region. It's home to less than ten percent of our people, but it covers. About half of the land. There are many lakes, rivers, forests, and lots of rocks. So it's very difficult to farm food. Hmm, interesting. We also have tundra in northern Canada. It's very cold in the tundra, and there aren't many people who live there. In the tundra. We can see a phenomenon called the Northern Lights, but you don't need to go to the tundra because you can see the Northern Lights in many places in Canada. Whoa! It's beautiful. I'd love to see them someday. Okay. I believe you would love to see some of the animals in Canada. Lubo, did you know our national animal is the beaver? Oh, I don't know. But he's cute.、Yeah. What's a unique animal that I can see in Canada? Well, the muskox is a unique animal you can see in Canada. It lives in the tundra. Moving along, here are some other animals that you could see in Canada. Many of these animals are actually on our money, so you can see some of these animals on our coins. Ooh, very interesting.、Mm-hmm. Because Canada is a very cold country in the winter time, winter sports are very popular. Curling is one of the sports that Canadians play on ice, but our most popular sport to watch and play is ice hockey. Ooh, Canada is because the winter is very cold, so there are many sports for winter. What about baseball? We love baseball in Taiwan. 
Sure, Lubo, baseball is popular in the summer, as well as football, but our national summer sport is actually a game called lacrosse. Hmm, I don't know that. Okay. Well, finally, we're going to talk a little bit about our leaders in Canada. So unlike Taiwan and the United States, Canada does not have a president. Canada has a prime minister and a queen. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know Canada had a queen. I didn't know Canada had a queen. Yes, Lubo. Queen Elizabeth II is actually queen in 16 different countries. And here you can see her. She is on the back of all of our coins. Oh, really? I didn't know that, but it's really interesting. Okay, Lubo, it's time to say goodbye to all the boys and girls at Lujiang Elementary School. Okay, goodbye everyone. Yeah, see you next time. See you next time.